Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, what I want to talk to you about, just like in the title, guys, I have a concern. And my question is, you know, when we go from the Ignite engine, you know, they talked about feel it, see it. You know, they talked about uh, uh, player movement. They talked about um, uh, immersion. They talked about living worlds. They talked about a lot of different things, you know, Players on the field are going to be able to calculate 60 times per second or whatever that thing was. You know what we got when they saw it in Madden 25, guys. When they introduced the Ignite engine for Madden 25. Now, we go, obviously, we didn't get what we want from the Ignite engine. Okay, we just, just didn't get it from the Ignite engine. Maybe some small things, but we didn't get living worlds. We didn't get none of that stuff that they used to talk about with the Ignite engine. And like I said earlier in one of my videos, guys, that marketing job is not to make the game marketing's job is not to make sure everything works in the game marketing's job is to sell the game marketing's job is to promote the game okay so marketing is doing their job okay marketing did what they supposed to do to sell the ignite engine to sell us madden 25 okay marketing is really good with ea sports marketing what, what EA Sports is like on the money. They can get you excited. They can get you pumped up. Okay, now, we did not get what we wanted from the Dead Knight Engine. Now, the company says, okay, let's go to Frostbite. Okay, now, my question is, when you look at this trailer of Madden 25 promoting the Ignite Engine, will we get the same thing they promoted back then now with the frostbite engine now that they they know that the frostbite engine is better and maybe we can achieve what we always wanted to achieve because they were talking about they're going to put ufc on the ignite engine uh, nba live on the ignite engine you know fifa was going to be on the ignite engine of course madden was on the ignite engine right everybody was on the ignite engine now they're saying everybody's going to be on a frostbite engine so the ignite engine was not a success so again, I'm asking, just put down in the comment section, all I want to hear is a yes or a no. That's it. Will we finally get what we're going to see in this trailer with Madden 19 and the Frostbite engine? Okay, now after this trailer is over, I want to talk about a concern that I have. Okay, so let's go ahead and play it right now. Boom. trenches guys look at the graphics right there in RG3 the expressions and everything look at that we've never seen three guys with a tackle like that trying to tackle gang tackle hold it on All right, guys. Now, as I continue, as I continue to play this trailer, my question is: This is my concern. This is really my concern, guys, and I want to know how you guys feel about this. Rex, Disc, Rex Dixon left EA because of uh, creative differences, right? Rex tried to get these guys to think how he think, to see the same, to have the same vision that he had. They just didn't see the same vision that Rex had. Okay, so we know why Rex left. But my concern is the things that they're talking about for Mad 19, it seems like Rex will be happy about that. If it works. The things they're talking about, real player motion, signature and signature style animations, making the cut, they're talking about the running stuff, they're talking about better zone coverage. Will the players really play their zones intelligently? All the stuff that we we know right now for Madden 19, even uh, 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 even the uh, customized draft classes, guys, we're getting a lot of things that we've always wanted. But why was Rex still not happy? So I was wondering about that. I think those things that we're getting in Madden 19, or supposedly getting in Madden 19, if they work. Again, 
marketing can do a great job with their print and their 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 their, their videos they do a great job with that right but it doesn't mean that Madden 19 is going to work like their advertising is going to work because like I told y'all in my last video I'm not going to get excited the way I did last year for Madden 18 man I went down to EA play we were all excited man EA play we was playing Madden everything was night nice, looking nice and sweet but then they got all the surveys back from the from the from the consumers and everything they dumbed the game down we didn't get what we wanted now so I'm not going to be enthusiastic until I actually get my hands on Madden 19, not at EA Play. I'm, yeah, I'm curious to see how the game plays at EA Play, but I want to see how it goes when it comes off the shelf. When the game comes out of the box and I stick it in my PS4, that's when I'll be excited if that game plays like it's supposed to be. Up until then... I'm just going to be hoping, guys, that we get what we finally want. Not saying the game's going to be perfect, but we get what they, they're advertising. We get what they're advertising. That's all I care about. Yeah, the game it still has leaps and bounds to go, but I want them to give us what they're advertising. You know, marketing is always going to do a good job, but are the devs going to deliver what marketing is talking about? Are the EA devs going to deliver what marketing is selling us are they going to deliver what, what marketing is selling us but my concern really guys is why is rex leaving i think these features and these new um gameplay things that we're getting in madden 19 again if they work it seems like rex will be happy with that so but rex still left now my question is did they get tired of rex asking for stuff and say either you resign or we're gonna fire you so Rex resigned you see what I'm getting at guys I don't know if I'm tripping let me guys let me. I just want to know why is Rex leaving because I think these things that's coming into the game now are good stuff that's good stuff coming into the game but Rex still left because of creative differences now it could the creative differences be because they're getting tired of Rex begging him. For, maybe Rex wanted to do a lot more with Madden 19. And they're getting tired of that. Maybe Rex wanted to do a lot more with Madden 19. Well, some of the ideas that in the community that we want, he wanted to put it in Madden 19, but they probably said no. So maybe that's why Rex left. Because he couldn't get what he wanted in Madden 19. Or... They got tired of Rex asking for stuff and they said either you resign or we fire you. I mean it really doesn't matter Rex is gone we can't change it either way but my concern was I think Rex would be happy with these things that are coming to Madden 19 but maybe he was just not satisfied in the things he knew him and his dev team could do to bring to Madden 19 some other things maybe that's on the table right there's a lot of things on the table for Madden we don't know when they're going to be implemented and maybe maybe Rex wanted to implement a lot of that stuff that's on the table but the brass the suit said no so maybe Rex said you know what I'm tired of begging I'm gone and maybe he is happy with the things with Madden 19 but Rex his creative differences he wanted to add some more stuff to Madden 19 but I guys I'm all over the place I'm really speculating but that was one of my concerns why did Rex leave if these options are so great? I think these are great additions if they work to Madden 19. But maybe Rex wanted to make it better. Maybe Rex wanted to add more things to it and they told him no. So maybe Rex just said, hey man, I'm just spinning my wheels. Y'all made me creative director. I can't do what I want. So I'm just going to go somewhere else. I can't. I, if I can't achieve my dream, I'm just going to go somewhere else. And so maybe that's what it came down to. But let me know how you guys feel about the in the comment section on what you think um, I can't if I get a lot of comments I can't respond to all of them I'm gonna try my real question is will we finally get that advertising that you guys are seeing for Madden 25 will we finally get RG that way RG3 looked in those graphics and will we finally get that kind of gameplay you saw how those how those guys was moving in the trenches we haven't seen that guys they wasn't doing those kind of animations in the trenches right so uh, just let me know, guys. I don't know uh, if I'm tripping or what. If y'all think I'm tripping, say, Hollywood, you tripping. Okay. 
all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video just a speculation i was just thinking uh again i don't i keep repeating myself but yeah guys let me know what you think in the comment section i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button but if you're new to the channel guys hit that subscribe button join the team of hollywood sports and we can do it all together but guys i want to add another thing i'm just biting to get my hands on mad 19 we can learn more about franchise play we can learn more about the gameplay they talking about real player movement all this kind of stuff signature animations i'm excited about that so hit that subscribe button because guys hopefully i can share some information with you if i can't i'm going to be taking notes gameplay i'm going to take some notes graphics i'm going to take some notes um interactions animations player movement i'm gonna take some notes and then when i come back from EA play i'm gonna give you guys what i thought or what my what i think madden my, my 19 is at the time i played it at ea play guys i can go on forever about this i love football i love i love coming up just with this conversation i wish we could all get in a big room and discuss all this stuff together hopefully we can get some guys together ea play and talk about some strategies and, and what we think and get some input that would be nice man all right guys uh, see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.